Good day everyone. I am Lian Marie Barranco of BSE CE 3C and for ECE 23 or Communications 2, we are going to tackle about how do AMI line coding technique works or operates. So first, we need to know that AMI is a line coding scheme under the category called bipolar. And bipolar encoding is also called multi-level binary that is a type of RZ or return to zero line code. It means that two non-zero values are also present. EMI is a binary and RZ line code. It has a negative and positive value. So together with zero, they make three voltage levels. This is the positive values, zero, and the negative values. So what exactly is AMI? AMI stands for Alternate Mark Inversion, where the word mark means one, based on its origin and telegraphy. Accordingly, AMI means Alternate I Inversion. It alternates into positive and negative volts in binary one, while in binary zero, it stays neutral. So for example, how AMI technique works or operates. So when we are given the data of 1011, 0011, 001, we are going to um, look at the voltage levels of this data. So since that um, in binary 1, it alternates into positive and negative volts, and in 0, it stays neutral, this will be its graph. We are assuming that this is a positive logic. So 1, 1 will start in the positive level of our graph. That would be positive and 0 is neutral, so it will going to stay on the 0 line or the 0 level. And then, since the first one is positive, it means that the second value of 1 will go to be alternate into the negative value or in the negative level. So that would be in the negative level here. And then next, we have data of 1 and that would be on the positive level again. The alternate of the negative is the positive. And we have 0 and 0. So that would be in the neutral side or in the 0 level. And then again, we have 1. Since the recent graph of 1 is in the positive level, so the next one would be in the negative level. And alternate again into the positive level for the next value of 1. And for the following two zeros, it will stay on the neutral side. And lastly, since we have here the positive value of 1, we are going to have the negative equivalent of 1 in the next one. And next um, example is 0101001101101100. So again, we're going to do the process that we did in the previous graph. Here, 0 is neutral, 1 would be the positive, and 0 will again be neutral, and the next one would be negative. And then, 0, 0 will stay on the neutral line, and then, the previous one is on the negative side, so the next one will be on the positive side. So on, negative, neutral, since it's 0, and then positive again, and then negative and then positive for the next one, and then negative for the next one, and 0, 0 is on the neutral side. So about AMI, alternate mark inversion is widely utilized for long distance communication, but it has a synchronization problem when the data contains a long sequence of zeros. Also, if we have a long sequence of ones, the voltage level will alternate between positive and negative. Therefore, it is not constant, so there is no present DC component. And for the AMI bandwidth, 
bandwidth average of EMI is solved using average is equal to 1 half n, where n is the data rate. So for additional info and summary, line coding converts digital data to digital signals. AMI is under bipolar category where zero is neutral or zero voltage and one represents alternating positive and negative voltages. BPS or bit per second is the unit of data rate. Baud is the unit for signal rate, often called bit rate, pulse rate, or modulation rate. And the goal in communications is to increase data rate while decreasing signal rate. Increase in data rate increases the speed of transmission and decreasing of signal rate decreases bandwidth requirement. That's all. Thank you.